Here's how to search for and assign zones while working at the base station 3200 controller. Starting at the run dial position, turn the dial to assign, select the menu assign by coders to zones, and then press enter. On the base station 3200, the plus and minus keys navigate through the left column, while the arrow keys navigate through the right column. And the left column highlight the search field and press the enter key. Right now, the controller is searching the wire path for any devices connected to it. Once the search is complete, the list will be populated with your unique device serial numbers. I want serial number E283492 assigned to zone 1. Once I've found that serial number in the left column and it's highlighted, I'll highlight zone 1 in the right column. At this point, just press the Enter key, and now it's assigned to zone 1. Notice that E283492 is no longer in the left column, and it's now in the right-hand column and associated with zone 1. The reason I selected this particular serial number is based off of my list that I created when I installed the bicoders in the field. Bicoders come with a pre-assigned serial number and two extra stickers with that same number. I used one sticker on a list with a description of the location. You may want to use the other sticker on an as-built plan. On my list, each sticker has a description after it, but there are a few descriptions without stickers. This is a single zone bicoder with serial number D081344. All single zone bicoders start with the letter D. This is a two zone bicoder with serial number E044641. All two zone bicoders start with the letter E. All four zone bicoders start with the letter Q. This is important as the two zone and four zone bicoders only show one serial number on them. This two zone bicoder has a white wire as the common. The orange wire corresponds to serial number E044641 and the yellow wire corresponds to serial number E044642. Only serial number 641 shows on the sticker though. The next serial number I want is VA0003, which I want to assign to zone two. I'll make sure to highlight VA0003 in the left column and highlight zone two in the right column. Pressing the enter key assigns it to zone two. I'll repeat this process for the remaining zones. Assignment for master valves is a nearly identical process. Turn the dial to assign and look for the menu that says assign by coders to master valves. Once that menu is open, highlight the search box and press enter. The controller is looking for any master valves that are connected to the wire path. I'll select serial number VE0003 in the left column and assign it to master valve one in the right column. Pressing enter completes the assignment. The next master valve is D081344 from the left column, and I'll assign it to master valve 2 in the right column. Assignment for flow meters looks exactly the same. Open the Assign by Coders of Flow Meters menu, search the wire path, select a serial number, and assign it to a flow meter. I only have one flow meter, so this was particularly easy. If you've made a mistake during assignment, it's easy to fix. Return to the Assignment menu, in this case, assigned by coders to zones, and look for the zones that are assigned incorrectly. I want to change the assignments of both zones 5 and zone 6. To start, highlight zone 5 in the right-hand column and highlight unassign in the left-hand column. Pressing enter gives me a warning saying that this will impact my programming. If I press enter, I can accept the warning message, and now zone 5 is no longer assigned and that serial number has been returned to the list. Unassigning Zone 6 uses the same process. Highlight Unassign, Highlight Zone 6, press Enter. Now I can go back and assign them in the order that I intended. I'll select VA0001 and assign it to Zone 5, and then find VA0005 and assign it to Zone 6. If you're already connected to Base Manager, the search and assign process is even easier to do remotely. Base Manager also allows you to name zones and devices and carry those names over to the controller. Having names at the Base Station 3200 controller is very helpful when you're manually running zones or programming at the controller. This process is shown in another video.